here's some hefty duty wood lathe tools. Genuine elk bastard, bastard. That's kind of cool. John might in the air. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine.
Sorry if it's too dark, guys. Hi, how are you? Good, good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. Is that your water or is it mine? Nice rocker. Inlay box. Prince Albert. Wow, it's hot. Sink that. so dark.
Okay. Cool knobs and bolts. Cherubs and deer, or maybe they're Indians. Hey guys, it's Tibbs from Purple Newbie Juice. We came back from an estate sale that wasn't open yet. I was invited by a friend of mine who owns the uh, estate company. So they don't open till third Friday, I think, and today's Wednesday. But what I did get, and I found this outside. This was a, a huge chunk of, um, uh, let me move this thing of quartz and it's uh it's really cool piece it has uh where it's the bugs got to it but it's really really neat um they use it at the end of a draining system from the house to catch the water to relieve the water coming down and it's just got some real nice wear on it uh, turn it around here I really like rocks and this is a really nice specimen you can see where the iron stone is in it and and the iron bleeding out from it and where the bugs got to it <clears throat> it's pretty pretty neat but I also picked up there wasn't a, a really a lot to choose from there it was uh, a guy who was in business for himself and he did a lot of uh, woodwork and, and work on museum pedestals and and railings and stuff like that but we picked up this handheld um whatever the heck they're called uh not sigh but that's kind of neat it's in really good shape the handle's nice and tight on it and this uh heavy duty brass um I guess this is to move logs around in a fireplace but that was kind of cool and I got this uh, handheld for hand forged pick or not pick but hook also we picked up this really heavy copper um, at least I believe it's copper it could be brass but it's a really nice hand hammered bowl of some sort. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Now I have some candle uh, stick holders that have these uh, have has a type of dragon on it. This looks to me like it's some kind of Scandinavian ship. Maybe uh, it's probably made in India. There, yeah, it says India F 1966, but it's got a nice floral design on it, and it's shaped like a, like a Scandinavian, like the uh, Rome not Romans, but the the Vikings used. It's a nice heavy heavy brass uh, bowl. We picked up this alabaster Italian trinket dish, 100% alabaster, and um, it's really, really nice. Very fun as far as that's concerned. Uh, these things can run anywhere between 40 and $50 in good condition, and uh, it's really, really neat. That it's green because a lot of times they're, they're, it's usually in white. And we do have these poles. He, like I said, he was in the business for himself, doing furniture and all kinds of um, balusters and stairway stuff, and for museums and hotels and things like that. So there's a oh, good collection of old um, drawer poles and. Um, and these are some of the ones I picked up. I'm, I'm going to need to go back there because I'm missing some pieces like on these poles here. The, the button, the pieces that hold hold on onto it that go in. I'm sure I'll be able to find those and have no trouble. Um, here are some more tear shaped um, drawer poles that have wooden, wooden knobs on them. I've got five of those and just a nice variety of uh, heavy-duty old brass drawer poles with like the tier type uh, system on it. I really enjoy these these type of uh, hardware. Uh, let's see. We also got this bench. It's uh, cast iron on the bottom. I'll take a wire brush to that and clean clean it and sand it up. But it's adjustable. Um, this is all wood, and this is uh, the three cast iron legs. It's kind of ornate. It's a different. I'll clean up this uh, this material up here, and it should be a nice little bench for somebody. This I'm not sure what it is. I believe it's some kind of a of a there was a, near a bunch of cameras, and it's talking about the uh, reflective index and the incident, and it's some kind of uh, instrument that. Uh, that figures out somehow what everything is. It says dual professional on it. It's got a really nice leather case to it and it says diamond on it. If anybody knows more about this and wants to comment, that would be great, but uh, I thought it was pretty, you know, it's kind of neat, never seen anything like it before. And I'll look into it myself to see what I can find on it. And we also picked up seven or six of these uh, St. Nicholas magazines, which are really, really cool. The advertisements in it. I'm from Massachusetts, and um, they have uh, the Columbia Bicycle also is in Massachusetts, Westfield, Mass., just the town over from me. But it has some really neat advertisement. Western Electric. They're from 1916, all of them, and uh, just has all kinds of information and different stories, and just the pictures and the uh, the illustrations are really something to look at. I enjoy the King Who Changed His Mind, little stories and articles, and some. Uh, some are better than others, have nicer pictures in it. The covers are pretty cool. The illustrations on the covers. But like I said, they're from 1916 and um, advertising erector sets. And Look at that old Campbell's soup from 1921. 10 cents a can, 21 kinds.
all kinds of little this is what right after World War One 1916 I can't remember exactly when World War One was I think it was in the early teens so this is either right at the middle or the end of it there's some soldiers there hmm But anyways, uh, I know the, oh, wow, these, um, I don't believe are too rare, they go for around 10 bucks, 10 bucks for the ones from the 30s, um, so I would, I would imagine there's not a huge difference in the cost for what people are willing to pay. But uh, I'm going to find them very interesting to uh, check out and read. So these are my finds for today anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, we'll see you on the next hunt. Whether it be metal detecting, uh, outdoor adventures, or antiquing. But uh, thanks for watching. Dixie went swimming today. We were separated. She's all tuckered out. But uh, till the next time, thanks again and Tibbs out.